says there's only one way to build a dresser? Falling off the table. It's fine, it's fine. This week on Dude Soup, we're talking about the Xbox Series X specs that just got released, plus some Japanese school children had a delightful little graduation ceremony in Minecraft. Welcome to the show. It's so weird to do this without a studio audience. <laughs> I, I was just I got you, that. babe. <laughs> Uh, well, guys, hey. welcome to a new episode of Dude Soup for this week. Uh, we're recording this today on Tuesday, March 17th, <laughs> and I am joined today by John. Hello. Adam. Hello. Hello. James, oh, there's the studio. And there's Omar, the audience. Omar, oh, studio audience. The audience. Oh, wow. Studio wow. Audience. They all wow. came out. Because you need, you need the studio audience. Yeah. Uh, this week's episode is brought to you by Honey, Stitch Fix, and ExpressVPN. We'll hear more from our great sponsors later in the show. Mm. You can't keep doing I do that because James thing. used to do it. And my now I think it's are funny. all dried out. Why is that, James? Because I've been washing my hands a lot. Good and for so you. All the natural oils in my body have just, just been You're stripped like away. Postmenopausal. My girlfriend in high school got a job at Jamba Juice and then she had to quit because they make you wash your hands there so much that she started yeah. Those all her fascists. essential oils. Yeah. <laughs> God, I just want my uh, pumpkin smash in peace, you know? <laughs> Give me those 1,800 calories. 800 pound gorilla. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? Speaking of, did you see like Bret Hart? Like is doing all these interviews and he's talking about how like Goldberg was a menace. Yeah, I, I saw the thing. Goldberg was a menace. Did, he's one of the meanest. Yeah, wrestlers. Oh. like hurt you, really hurt you, oh. wrestling him and stuff. I don't understand how that took place. He had two moves. Yeah, <laughs> no. they were both spears. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I mean, I guess maybe he would tackle you real hard and hit mm. you with a spear, but like Goldberg, dude. I was like, I mean, I feel like out of most matches, it's like you're wrestling Goldberg tonight. You're like, that's great. Mm. I'm gonna be done in 90 seconds. Is that the guy who's painted gold? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's gold, gold dust. dust. Oh, right. Yeah, Goldberg just, did like his Gold spear thing. Goldberg nice. was uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, but just in underwear. On steroids. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well, more steroids. steroids yeah. um, I just watched the, well, I know we gotta get to the Xbox, but I was <laughs> anecdote, <laughs> wrestling related. Uh -huh. I just watched the Andre the Giant documentary, uh -huh. and uh -huh. Hulk Hogan was talking about how he hated Macho Man Randy Savage, and Macho Man Randy Savage was always scared to go in the ring with him because he'd just rough him up. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Macho Man bad. <laughs> <laughs> You get them, brother. <laughs> Have you watched the Ric Flair doc yet? No. Oh, that's yeah. another great that. one. Oh, my God. You want to get your heart out. And you want to cry. Go watch yeah. the one with the Hart family. Okay. Oh, that one's great, too. And yeah. then go watch the Jake the Snake, Diamond Dallas Page one. Mm. That's a wrestling lot of... Docu I would say, in terms of batting average, wrestling documentaries, the best. Some yeah. that I've even participated in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Highest reviewed, <laughs> uh, highly recommended I just, documentaries. My, my favorite part about that Andre the Giant documentary is the interview with Vince McMahon. Oh, and he yeah. starts tearing up, and he's like, that son of a bitch made me so much money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's remembering <laughs> how much he made. Piles from. of money were as high as him. Yeah. His little, his big legs were breaking. Yeah. God, it was like $100 million. <laughs> I've never been so rich. I knew he could barely stand, but he said he wanted to wrestle, and I said, you got uh, to uh, cash that check. He's fighting through the HGH to get the tears out of his eyes, but it's there. Uh, well, yeah, check those docs out if you're looking for something to watch, but not right now because you're watching this. Uh, and we're talking about the Xbox Series X specs, which... Uh, the what? The Xbox Series <laughs> X specs. We've are already... these confirmed or are these expected Xbox Series X specs? <laughs> you might suspect that these specs mm -hmm. are suspect. Would mm -hmm. you say I should respect the, the Xbox specs. specs? I would say it would be neglect not to respect. So neglect to the, respect. The specs. Mm. Well, it would be hard to uh, something about Adam's glasses. <laughs> okay, hey, James, nice pecs. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> will those pecs be featured in the Xbox Series X specs? How will the Xbox Series X specs affect my pecs through Adam's specs? <laughs> The biggest uh, <laughs> reveal <Let's move on. laughs> was the mystery as uh, to what the the weird port, extra port on the console was, which uh, is the Seagate, uh, or it's, it's a port that will connect the Seag Seagate exclusive mm -hmm. proprietary one terabyte external SSD. But it's just a drive that just like sh shoots yeah. in, right? Yeah, it's basically a memory card. And then you can press oh. buttons on it, and it's like a tiny little controller. Mm -hmm. And then and you, you have, have one, and I have one. And we can <laughs> stick oh, them together. Yeah. And, then, together. and then I go, my battery's dead. Oh, yeah. how am I going to play Sonic Adventure? <laughs> Wait, yeah. so it's not a plug to an external hard drive that sits 
next to your I mean, that's thing. what I thought it was. I don't know. What, they're... what is happening? Why do you keep Some, looking at it? Someone is Someone's entering, entering the, the studio. Building. And drilling. What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> that was that whistling we heard. Is Tori out there drilling into the... I don't know. Police? Oh, hey, Tori. Sorry, oh, no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Anything can happen. I just hear the door swing open in a drill. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is how we die. The tooth fairy's here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got molars? And, just <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, we're so glad all these streams are free <laughs> Where's these members Is he right still now? Trilling? He's got to finish. You got to finish. You can't start Sorry, this we're stuff. live. He recording. keeps going. We eat it. When you got to drill, you got to okay, drill. Okay, well. As long the, as if Rufus starts barking. The Xbox <laughs> Series X is proclaimed to be twice as powerful as the Xbox Series One X and as a man with a drill uh, who has wandered into a recording studio. Mm -hmm. It's built on into a uh, the processor is built into a custom Project Scarlet system on chip, which uses the enhanced version of TSMC's seven nanometer process. So the smaller the process, the more efficient the chip is. That means it can give more performance for less power. Cool. Um, some other specs, uh, the processor is a customized AMD Zen 2 CPU with eight cores and 16 threads with a peak speed of 3.8 gigahertz and a base speed of 3.6 gigahertz. So <sighs> these frequencies aren't completely locked, mm -hmm. which suggests that the Xbox Series X can adjust the power of the CPU based on the workload and thermal power it needs my, so if you're playing a game that needs a lot of processing power it can adjust that my only problem is i wish you had brought us towels for how wet we all just got <laughs> i don't know about you guys it, this makes me think of the like toothbrush commercials where they're like we've added new super glide rubber yeah, extenders yeah. Right. to yeah. massage yeah. those gums it's like what the fuck well, are you they, talking well, about because you know what happened right there's someone in r&d and they're like we have new uh gumbo micro about and there's some sales guy who goes how do i market this yeah. he goes it's got teeth razors now. Yeah. 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 I think that what this really needs is a commercial of someone using any other console and then, but then they accidentally pour like a glass of water on it and it goes black and white and they go, oh, oh no. Or whatever. And yeah. then it says 4K UHD Blu ray drive, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like some sort of alternative, you know, like. Well, then, yeah, like a, a blue viscous liquid going into a diaper. Yeah, and yeah. Go, wow. and it goes, 10 gigabytes at 560 gigabytes <laughs> per second. Mm -hmm. there, Pasta falling off a dish. <laughs> there are two features that they're really pushing with this one is the ray tracing capabilities. Um, and John, you've talked before about like some games that have. Yeah, so um, I think. A lot of people are always like, let's make it look better. It's got to yeah. look beautiful. It's got to run at more frames. But really, all this processing power is going to help give games more depth. Because there, I watched the a few weeks ago, there was the Baldur's Gate live stream where they showed off the game. And the, the developer who was showing it was saying that the only place where you can get the actual full experience because the back end and all the AI, you know, thought tree, decision-making, everything. The only place that actually has the power to run all of that and process all that stuff is on Stadia. Um, so, you know, all, all this stuff, it's all these weird technical terms that we don't understand what it is. Just know that their games can have more depth and that uh, more shit can happen. Because you talked about, like, AI. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. an example I had was the when Shadow of Mordor came out, it came out on both the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. But on the Xbox 360, it didn't have the, what was it called? The Vengeance? Yeah, the... It was know, basically nemesis, whenever... Nemesis. Yeah, nemesis. the Nemesis system, where whenever you died, it basically went through all 60 generals or whatever in the game and had them live their lives and processed all of that. Mm -hmm. The 360 couldn't handle that, so they, it just didn't have it. Um, and so just thinking about if you like games where, you know, there's a whole functioning world, an ecosystem of AI that are all interacting with each other... These kinds of specs will help yeah. us get closer to that. So it's not just for pretty shadows and it, lighting. Yeah, it's not just for making things prettier. It's for letting us get closer how, to the matrix. How long is it going to take for the computer to process one turn in Civ Six late game now? <sighs> Probably about. Because be faster or shorter? Yes. Uh, well, we don't know about that, but we do know that load times in general are going to be quicker. Not for me. Not, well, okay, <laughs> all right. I'm not talking about different load time. Uh, Omar, if you'll bring up the load loading times tech demo, uh, they released a state of t 
two State of Decay two demonstration that showed that that uh, on the Series X State of Decay two mm -hmm. or SD two. As I call it, <laughs> uh, loads a full forty seconds quicker on the Series X mm -hmm. than SD two on the Xbox. So, One but they're X. they're not promising any of that fancy cloud stuff on the Series X, right? Because I mean that was a big deal on Xbox One with like we're gonna use the power of the Azure servers, and it's like Azure that thing I use the pirate stuff. I'm like no, it's different now. But they they that was their big selling point with Crackdown three, I believe, where they're like. Everything's being processed on a server somewhere else, and none of it made it in. Oh, really? Yeah, it just or not on the scale they were. They're like, you can destroy a city because all that's being rendered on some uh, server somewhere on Seattle, and then they dropped all that. So mm -hmm. I don't know if Series X is like, yeah, it's it's just built into the Let's box see, now because we're Xbox bottlenecking Series ourselves X with Azure. ISP services that refuse to upgrade. Yeah, they're like, it works really well when you're in Seattle at the Microsoft office next to the server. <laughs> If you go, but we tested it. <laughs> so for the audio the listeners, for the audio listeners, in this quick load demo, uh, the Xbox Series X, the player is already taking pills out of a bureau, while <laughs> the Xbox One version just loaded. Well, the person on the right has already been married. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're they're done with their work mm -hmm. for the day. Yeah, uh, their kid's been born. The guy on the left is he he still hasn't woken up. It's it's different. It's not, fast life in the fast lane, baby. That's, that's Series X uh, for you. That's because uh, Xbox is using something called the Xbox Velocity Architecture designed to improve the integration between hardware and software for streaming of in-game assets. <laughs> I, anytime I hear a name like that, I think about the engineer and the software dev who like worked hand in hand. And they're like, we've just we it's called the XVXP X24 sir. And I, it all all those letters and I numbers. Heard a lot mean of something. X's. And the marketing guy goes, can we call it the velocity because <laughs> it's fast. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and that's not trademarked yet. Yeah. They're like, but yeah. what about the XVXB TX? And he closes the door in the, the clean room that he lives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this will be most obvious in open world games where you can see high fidelity environments load dynamically so using it, this power. Is that that mystery slot on the back there underneath the Ethernet cord? It's that kind of rec long rectangle. That thing. It's going to be a just, little. Sh you just yeah. slide it in. Sh it's not. Okay. You're not plugging in an external hard drive. You're Sticking, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A memory, like a memory into card. It, it looks yeah. like I, a, an M2 card would fit in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I. That's sort of the size I was thinking. I was just wondering because this this was a theory I had years ago. We talked about with the original generation. I was assuming the future of Redbox and all stuff because they're trying to slowly phase out discs. I mean, slow. It's happening, but the idea is that you have this M2 card or this SSD. You just go to the Redbox, plug it in. If it's fast enough, a proprietary example, you could download a game in five minutes. Whatever, if your internet's not fast enough. Obviously, that takes a little bit of, you know, R&D and stuff to sort of, like, get going. But I, I could see Kiosk being, like, the new way of renting games is, like, you just put on a stick, you know. Well, I, uh, I don't know if anyone's going to do that. Is, is Microsoft taking a step back from universal consumer support by just using, like, a sole proprietor, um, like, external storage? I mean, they, they probably are, but whatever Seagate is paying them or something, whatever deal is, they're like, this is the only way we can offer this I mean, system to you. This is price. counterintuitive to how PC gamers think. Yeah, you and know? also, when has anyone ever announced that they're going to have a strictly proprietary item and people were happy about PlayStation it? PlayStation yeah. 3 Mad Cats. Oh. <laughs> Everyone loved it. <laughs> uh, said, bring back the boomerang mm -hmm. controller. Well, yeah, I mean, what? how come things don't play HD DVDs too? Yeah, True. what so, happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're recording this podcast on uh, Tuesday, March 17th. And so, of course, like tomorrow morning, uh, Sony's going to be dropping the PS5. Mm -hmm. Like specs are doing a, a reveal, so we won't be able to compare. But are you guys like, are you leaning in one camp or the other? Or does it really, will you be more influenced when you see those PlayStation Man. specs? Well, PlayStation just announced that Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC, so... What does that mean? That <laughs> what is that face? Well, yeah. No, I, I, there were all those people that were freaking the fuck out. Like, there, wasn't there a guy that like destroyed his game room because he felt betrayed by PlayStation if, for the exclusive? If, if it like, wasn't that, so. it was going to be something else. I hope yeah, so. but yeah, he was just waiting. We've we've come so far technologically that are they really going to be that much different apart from the interface, which. For me right now, m navigating the PlayStation interface, just trying to get to Netflix is like 12 steps, whereas on Xbox it's two. 
Because um, you use your connect and you go, yeah, yeah. Netflix. <laughs> or you make the, yeah, you <laughs> 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 and then they're like, way easier yeah. than a controller. Yeah, and that, that activates Fleabag, and then yeah. it goes, not on Netflix. And goes, ah. and goes it, launching Ori. The whole choosing a tribe thing is like, what? It, uh, you Console know, Xbox. Yeah. Oh, 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 I thought that was a, new, a, that was a yeah, new feature. It's, and, it's, it's a, <laughs> I think it's a uh, remnant of, the old console wars in the 90s where there actually were technical differences and the games didn't exist on both. So you really had to choose. Whereas now, all these games are going to be on most of these consoles. Mm -hmm. So what? why are people having to well, choose? And I think they also said, and I might be wrong with this, but I think this is what I read, that the Series X isn't launching with exclusives. Hmm. Well, I mean, Ori. Oh, I guess, well, yeah, because if you're talking about PC. Yeah. Right. That's my my the question for me is going to come down to where can I play m the most games, mm -hmm. right? So if the Xbox Series X is compatible with my PC the same way Xbox One has been, then I prefer that. If Sony was like the PlayStation Five is coming out, this is the hard box we're going to have. Also, there's going to be a Sony app that allows you to play any game that you own on. Uh, on that on your PC as well, then I'm like, oh, maybe Sony. But like, yeah. I don't, I just, it's so hard. In, unless it's a Switch, it's so hard to find time to be like, TV, mm -hmm. living room, this console, now, you yeah. know? It's all basically become the same thing. It's yeah. almost like buying a TV now, yeah. where you go, oh, the LG TV is really nice. Well, Samsung does some really cool things, but like TCL, who knows what they're doing? I don't know. I went TV shopping with my mom this Can weekend. I play it on a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it have Netflix? Um, yeah, well, yeah. Why, why isn't HBO built into the TVs? I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Microsoft also came out and uh, talked about the actual like physical dimensions of mm. the console, which is going to be about 30 centimeters tall and then about 15 centimeters wide and deep. Put a, yeah, put a banana on that's, it. I'm telling you, this is all a ploy. You're Phil's gonna Phil. Uh, Phil is gonna come out E3 this year. Qu quote me on this. <laughs> Phil Spencer. You're saying. Phil Spencer mm -hmm. is gonna come out E3 this year Which onto the stage. And E3 canceled. is not where Microsoft press conference is separate. Okay. But around when E3 would have <laughs> happened. Okay. So Jul Phil, June. Phil's June, gonna come June. out and he's gonna go. Here it is. And he's gonna pull the thing off. You go. This is it. This is the beauty. And you're going to hear Omar clapping, sign, like <laughs> the uh, lone his, audience yeah, member. The, you're going to yeah. hear that. <laughs> lone you're going to hear a, like a man fun. with a drill in the background. Yeah, a door is going to open and a drill is going to spin. <laughs> this is and an then he's going to go, but conference. wait. He's going to go, but wait. And then he's going to go, bat and knock it. And then it's going to, the box sides are going to fall oh. off and it's got a little Chromecast <laughs> that says, Does it have a Google says, logo on it? You did not expect this to be the Xbox One Series X. Mm. Expect the un. Ex Expects. Ex yeah. Expected. Right. Um, and then Elijah Wood introduces the killers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we did it. And they go, all you do is you log in, you plug this into your HDMI port, you log in, and then you can play any game from uh, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious that the, uh, you know, there was the whole backlash with them releasing the Xbox One S without a disk drive. Mm -hmm. was there a, a lot of people, yeah, yeah. There, a lot of people were like, well, physical. Um, there, a lot of people do a lot of things, but yeah, but they didn't. They people didn't... negatively re negatively react to everything. Adam. Okay, yeah. that, that's and fine. I think, I I think that's the only reason this thing has a disc drive. And I'm curious if before that happened, if they're planning on releasing it without a disc drive, how small it would have. Well, been. that was the lore of the the Xbox One yeah. was that it wasn't going to have a disc drive, but then they saw the reaction and I think it was always going to have a disc. Oh, no, 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 it was going to have Sony. That was the lore with. Oh, that was wasn't so that that wasn't that the thing? Oh, I that, like, Nintendo I know. Entertainment System. No, I thought it was with <laughs> Sony. Sony saw the reaction to when the first Xbox One was first announced. I'm oh. I'm mixing it up. Yeah, they saw Maybe. the reaction to Xbox One, and then they were like, "Shit, we got to put a drive into mm -hmm. the PS4." Well, I know. Well, I know the way Microsoft was doing it was is like you put the disc in. Once you put it in, then it's like it's locked to that system yeah. or it's locked to your account, which is a real. It's dumb to come out and say this is how it's going to be, and you're going to like it. Whereas the new age of Phil Spencer is. We'll give you whatever you want, and then based on user feedback, we'll give you different options. Yeah. So the discless one was, huh, there's a lot of people just downloading games. What if we made a cheaper version that was for those people? And for people to get upset and react, go, but the other one's still there. Yeah, and there's, yeah. there's stuff It costs like, a little bit more because it's more parts. Yeah, also, and like CD Projekt Red saying, you'll never have to buy this game. 
again or whatever. Yeah, those those know. sorts of things makes it makes it a little easier. Like I think the the idea of choice is nice, or at least the illusion of choice, where you go. I I mean, when was the last time you bought a laptop with a CD drive in it? You know, it's like those things just kind of go away. But there's still an option to use it. You just use an external USB yeah. one. It's like I think that's what it's going to become. Is go well, oh, yeah, yeah. We have options for it, but it's this is technology that's being phased out. Mm -hmm. I actually I did that where. I built my own computer and I bought a case and then uh, I realized it didn't have a slot for a disk drive. So then I bought another case and then I installed my DVD drive and then I never used it once. Look, guys, physical game discs are the Velveteen Rabbits of 2020. You can't You're share them with your fire. friends. Throw, mm -hmm. them in the, throw them in the fire. You got the anyway. kid sick. Burn it. <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, keep rolling here. But first, a word from our sponsor, Honey. You know that Honey is the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart. And you know how great it feels to save. But how does it feel to save with Honey? Saving with Honey feels like sliding into a seat on a train just before the doors close, or hitting every green light on your commute, or downloading the game that you've been waiting months or even years to play. What, uh, what did you buy that Honey saved you money on? You might be asking. How much did you save? You might be asking. Well, I've saved tens of dollars per purchase using Honey to buy clothes, tech, cool stuff like that. Honey also supports over 30,000 stores online, including Macy's, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. And they're adding more stores every single day. So why don't you try it yourself? Because using Honey feels pretty great. Think of it as a little daily victory. Plus, it's free to use and installs in just a few seconds. You can get Honey for free at joinhoney.com dude. That's joinhoney.com dude. Thank you, Honey, for your sponsorship. Back to the show. A Japanese <laughs> school was forced to cancel its graduation due to, you guessed it, COVID-19. Uh, they had been closed for over two weeks. And with the school year ending in March, it meant that many students wouldn't have their graduation ceremonies. This is all reported by Sora News 24. I don't know if it's connected to Sora from Kingdom Hearts, but I can only assume. <laughs> He's big in the news. <laughs> They're saying a lot of this is going to happen here, too. Yeah. Um, Spring break. So the kids took it upon themselves to, without this is without the school or, or parents, this the kids orchestrated this themselves. They made a, an assembly hall in Minecraft, and they gathered on a server together Aww. and then did their graduation online. And this one, like, dad chronicled his son. Mm -hmm. um, Next to his flight stick. You know, having a great day. It sounded like they had a great day. Uh -huh. They were all Wait, doing hold it. Hold on. How old are these Whoa. kids? They were in pri they're in primary how school. How low is that kid's school? You don't graduate you know, How that. high is it? <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I just, I can't, can't yeah, live a day little, without a 7,000 DPI. A little graduation hall, much honor. Aww. That's nice. Yeah. It's really sweet. That's sweet. Uh, and the kids, you know, they played games together and they... They had, sp they had speeches through Minecraft mm -hmm. and they stuff. Should, they, two of those kids are wearing up. jack lanterns on their head. That's it's, unprofessional. It is. Like, well, that's how the kids look. <laughs> <Might just be laughs> no. You can see them. They are jack lantern kids. Oh. They're horribly disfigured. Um, they should do this with layoffs. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Jesus. I mean, come on, James. I'm Hi. sorry. I had to downplay the positivity. Um, <laughs> The I did see, I mean, it's not a cute story, but I did see a picture of someone sitting uh, in their graduation gown and cap just in like the whatever registration lobby because their graduation got canceled. So they dressed up to go to just pick up their diploma. Mm -hmm. hmm. Kind of a bummer, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not as happy it, as this. It's something that I actually started thinking about was like, oh, man, this the timing is like, you know. Imagine you've been in high school four years and like stereotypes of high school, everything like that. But it's like, okay, now it's time to end this phase of my life and move on to my next. What's that? I'm not going to school for the last two months of mm -hmm. this. And how's this going to work out? Like, yeah. there's going to be so yeah. much garbage that's going to be picked so up from I this. And well, yeah. you well, know what? I feel like there's already a place for these VR chat. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. All right, all you modders out there, someone build a graduation hall oh. for all the all the graduating kids and also buy them all VR equipment. We do this in <laughs> yeah. Ready Player One. They Share the VR headsets, but disinfect them. Yeah, yeah there after you go. The that is, that is uh, it, it, it's, this whole thing has raised a lot of interesting concerns. So like a lot of schools are, you know, the tele teleworking, telecommunicating, all that stuff. But internet is not yet a utility. Mm -hmm. It sort of raises that question is, should internet be a utility now mm -hmm. that 
I think we've we've all agreed that it's like okay, our lives cannot go it's on so without reliant. without this thing. It is it's something for like schools, which is a most schools are a public, you know, a, a government agency or you know, it's part of the federal government or whatever. And go, well, just use your internet. It's like, well, I don't have internet. Like, no school for you. Mm-hmm. And it's like at some point, okay, yeah, maybe there is a base internet that is just given to you, comes out of your taxes or whatever. It's it was just one of those bigger. The the world is feeling a lot different right now, and the idea that we're we're forcing ourselves to do so much online, I think is really, it's like a giant beta test. It's like, can this actually work? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm curious what it's going to look like when we come out of this. I think the the sad truth is I think for a lot of people it isn't working because, because, you know, where we live and what we do, it is, it is something that we have. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is the case for everyone. And I think that those are the people that are going to get left behind. It was weird going to target today and it was a girl on a laptop talking to me. It was <laughs> and she was down by my feet and she said down here. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. That's that wasn't true. a target. That was your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I was high on Valerian root. And that was her graduation. Ceremony. <laughs> I'm just glad I, I just got to my diploma, sir. Yeah. You're on the way. Yeah. 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 yeah toilet paper. Stuff, like I saw a picture the other day. This is not related to technology, but this woman had gotten proposed to uh, by her boyfriend, but she couldn't, you know, go. She wanted to tell her like grandfather about it, but she had to go outside of his window and be like, "Here's my ring. I got proposed to." Mm-hmm. Anyway, who are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't have love actually. And, uh, <laughs> Rich. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 uh, uh everything's on pause. Everything's yeah. in limbo. Mm-hmm. Um, on TikTok, I saw a tutorial of, uh, you know, a lot of classes have moved online. It was how to record yourself at your webcam and then make it a loop and then nice. just get up and leave. <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Yeah, nice. Like they, listen, we figured that out in speed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just make sure you don't move your hand underneath your yeah. purse. Yeah. There was a, uh, I saw a Reddit thread that was talking cause like a lot of people are using zoom mm-hmm. to, to do meetings and stuff like that. But I guess zoom has a setting that like the leader me, meeting leaders can set. Um, which will let the meeting leader know, aka your manager or whatever, know if you become inactive yeah, or like the window employees. closed, oh. essentially, so they can see if you are oh. actually being productive yeah. there or not. Wow. So then, so but then someone immediately was like, "Here's how you do that. Like, here's how you bypass that system nice. or whatever. Like, open yeah. something if something on your phone." Like, if you have the browser open on your desktop, watch <laughs> Netflix on your phone. If you watch yeah. Netflix on your laptop. Open the browser. You build a taller wall, we'll make bigger ladders. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's something that is very fascinating just about humans in general in all facets and that, I mean, it is, you know, it is bad that, you know, developers have anti-piracy, but then it gets cracked within days and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it's just the, it, it's human uh, ingenuity, ingenuity mm-hmm. of any wall that's put up, we can break down. Especially the, if the wall prevents us from taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's sometimes the, have you ever done that before? Where you put in more work than had oh, it to been. Be yeah. Like yeah. I've, I've always thought about this with telekinesis. You're like, okay, you have the power. I could move that light over there, but it would take, I would feel as, yeah, I would have to exert as much energy soul. as it would be for me to get up and just go do it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, nothing will change. You just don't have to move. Oh, I know? do but, the thing where like, if I have a hard time falling asleep, I'll give myself a mission where it mm-hmm. involves me trying to get up and do, I have to, I'm like, okay, well, you'll probably sleep better if you get up and you open the window. And I'll go like, okay, all you gotta do is just get up and open the window. And that usually makes me fall asleep. I've definitely tried to avoid it. Yeah. That's, pretty, yeah. that's some good mental gymnastics. And I'll, I'll do it all the time. Sometimes yeah. it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I, I had to do that recently with um, uh, Funhouse TV. We're using this new software to make it work. And to put in our videos, you have to do one link at a time. And I was like, we have almost 2,000 videos. And I messaged the people, I'm like, is there any way I can just do a bulk link? And they went, no, one at a time. So I contacted my brother. He wrote a script for me <laughs> for uh, uh, auto hotkey. And it, he wrote a little script that it was like, copy from this giant list, paste, enter, paste. And it was just, I sent Omar a video where it's just like a robot going, but I was like, I ain't fucking doing this. You can't was like, I forget what it was called, but it's a program in post where basically in Avid making you, what you do, once you get all the cameras loaded in, you then have to, manually go through and put a split at any time a camera starts or ends. Okay. And then you have to go through and make, it's all this technical stuff where you make subgroups and and then you turn that the whole day into a multi-group. And it's this whole process where you're just doing the same nine keys over and over and over again. But then there's a program that you can run that just does that for you. 
But there was this whole divide where a lot of people were very against it because it basically made your job only take about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's automation in a nutshell. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's like, well, maybe maybe the task shouldn't be so redundant. Yeah. Maybe it should be a button you hit and it just Yeah. It's you know. Well, if you want no one to see what you're doing online. I su suggest you check out our next sponsor, ExpressVPN. When you use the bathroom, you always close the door behind you, right? You don't want random passerbys looking in on you. So why would you let people look in on you when you go online? Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom and not closing the door. Did you know that your internet service provider, like Comcast or Verizon, knows every single website you visit? And what's worse is they can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who will use your data to target you. ExpressVPN puts a stop to this. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone. A bunch of us in the office have used ExpressVPN and have been satisfied with our service. The best part is using ExpressVPN is as easy as closing the bathroom door, which, trust me, I know, it's it's... Easy. <laughs> I have to. Uh, with the my husband of mine trying to barge in. Anyway, you just fire up the app, click one button, and you're protected. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN by P Tech Radar, Wired, The Verge, and countless others. So if you're like me and believe your online activity is your business and your your bathroom stuff too, secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash dude today and use our exclusive link E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash dude, D-U-D-E, and you can get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash dude. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for your sponsorship. We are back at Dude Soup here. Um, uh, so, yeah, we so we, it's good that, like, as bad as the news is right now, there's still some, some little br happy bright spots coming out of it. Uh, another sad spot, <laughs> Ring Fit Adventure is selling out. Um, no, yeah. that's good. If, though. If I mean, well, yeah, that's some home exercise I, stuff, right? But is it good? It's it's due to lack of supply. Oh, so I mean, demand oh. is high, especially because because people are in their homes and they want something they can do inside. Ring Fit Adventure, if you don't know it, it uh, promotes indoor exercise, so you you uh, you know can do different motion games and stuff. Um, and so, since the outbreak of COVID nineteen, it has been selling more and more. Um, but I think prior to the outbreak, it was even like in high demand. Like people were having a tough time getting it. I think we, John and I talked about this a little bit before, but Nintendo is always limiting its supply chain. Yeah. Driving demand. That's something that you, uh, I mean, what was it? I, I, I watched a number of documentaries talk about, you know, the old days in, of video games and like in the eighties and nineties, Nintendo games were constantly sold out, not because they were, you know, I mean, a lot of people were buying them, but they they weren't making enough. Um, and even uh, back when, what was it, Wii or Wii U, one of the Mario games came out and, like, you couldn't find it anywhere because they just didn't make enough. Hmm. Um, so, sure, it's selling well, but also they're undersupplying. Yeah. yeah, and then, of course, we know, like, there are different tech shortages that are happening. I, that was my question about the, the theory is uh, series... Series X and PS5 are going to be delayed indefinitely because of the part yeah. shortages and just just how it, the global economy has been affected. And just like, yeah, there we we might get the announcements, but the the big 2020 release might not happen until 2021, which is um, you know obviously there's there are bigger things going on than you know me getting a new plastic toy this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. So like I, I totally understand that, and I like, get what's going. On. It's just it's just a, like a crazy bummer when it's. I, I'm, I've been in this industry so long, so I'm, I'm not used to it affecting uh, my 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 little world being affected by world events. Mm -hmm. And now it yeah. is it is getting there. It's like it's it's very eye opening. And that that's a, it's a it's a crazy thing to think about the that's a, I feel like that's something you never think about the actual physical chips that are going inside of these things. Those are not being made, and there's a shortage of those. Mm -hmm. Normally, when you think about you know, like games getting delayed or things getting delayed, it's because you know. There were, you know, there were delays in the workflow of the people making it, like, you know, programming it and whatever. Um, you never think about, oh, there's a, like, physical shortage 
Uh, it's mm-hmm. just a weird concept that normally I feel like we haven't thought about. In well, a while. It, I, I think about when like Bitcoin was on the rise, and they were like, "Oh, we can't make sorry, we can't make graphics cards, or graphics right. cards are sold out everywhere because of Bitcoin." And I'm like, on the grand scheme of thing, I would like to see how many people actually like how many people percentage wise of the world were actually buying Bitcoin, doing mining, and doing. I know it was like a big thing, but it wasn't a big thing. This is a global event so yeah. to think about the difference between we are we still can't even produce these kinds of pieces of hardware due to this relatively minor event compared to a global event it's like it's i mean we're gonna yeah there's i don't think there's yeah. any way. and of course like the price gouging is happening because people are putting them on ebay now for as high as 170 dollars when the original retail price is around like 80 mm. for the whole kit which comes with like the ring con and the leg strap in the game yeah it's better, not, no not better cool. time yeah. than yeah. crisis to yeah. profit. Yeah. Exploit. You just, you just never think like yeah. in The Walking Dead, there's a guy who pulls up with a van with a ring fit. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> what kind of water you got? Because yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, in in the end times, a switch would still work. Solar panel, battery. You good, baby? It's true. That's true, yeah. yeah. Just saying. It's there. And that's why I still crank. play my Neo yeah. Geo Pocket. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you got your, uh, what's that? That Life Straw you got? Yeah, hey, Life Straw. You're drinking We're toilet, good. Drinking toilet water. Toilet playing water, your switch. playing our Switch. <laughs> toilet water's clean. The tank. Well, no, but the use tank. toilet water. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's got poops in it. Yeah, yeah. You 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 go first and then you soak it up. That's why I only take Upper Deckers. <laughs> It just, infects all the toilet water. I've never laughed at an upper decker. Joke. Really? It's no. funny. That wasn't a joke. Are they Adam? funny? No, no, no. It's funny. Uh, the idea of pooping. The idea. Hold on. The idea of pooping in someone's water reserve tank. Uh-huh. So when they flush, poop water comes into the bowl. That's not funny. Uh, I only laughed at it uh-huh. once when MacGruber did it. <laughs> yeah, MacGruber yeah. could do it. I think MacGruber did it and was like, "That's the funniest it'll ever be." Uh, and then ever, I remember there were people I like, it was funny, John. No, no, it's fine. I'm just I wasn't making a joke. I only take upper deckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you it's can funny fit now. on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I you made it you made it funny. You fixed it. Uh before we get to our last story, a word now from our sponsor sponsor. Our sponsor, Stitch Fix Stitch Fix. A word now from our sponsor, Stitch Fix. Personal style is like a fingerprint. Everyone has their own. Whatever your style, the style experts at Stitch Fix are ready to help you express yourself. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door. To get started, simply go to stitchfix.com slash dude soup, answer some questions about your preferred style, and your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. With Stitch Fix, everyone can look their best. They have solutions for men, women, and even kids all over the U.S. and now the U.K. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free, plus the $20 styling fee is automatically applied toward anything you keep from your box. You'll never have to think about looking good again with Stitch Fix. So you can get started today at stitchfix.com slash dude soup and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in your box. That's stitchfix.com slash dude soup, D-U-D-E-S-O-U-P, stitchfix.com slash dude soup. Thank you, Stitch Fix, for your sponsorship. Uh, you know what, y'all? Hi. Jared Leto does not know what is up. <laughs> He's so out of it. I, can we just, Omar, if you'll bring up the... The image. Could you imagine us. being Jared Leto? Just, no. It must be so difficult. Easy. He's only finding <laughs> yes. out now about what's happening yeah. in the world. Jared Leto made an Instagram post. I'll read it to you. Wow. 12 days ago, I began, began a silent meditation in the desert. We were totally isolated. No phone, no communication, etc. We had no idea what was happening outside the facility. Walked out yesterday into a very different world. One that's been changed forever. Mind-blowing, to say the least. I'm getting messages from friends and family all around the globe and catching up on what's going on. Hope you and yours are okay. Sending positive, positive, blah, 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 blah. sending positive energy to all. Stay safe inside. Stay safe. Jared Leto did not know that COVID nineteen was a thing. This is the kind of thing the Joker would do. But, but <laughs> he's only been gone for twelve days. Is, I know. It's this is like, like yeah. been happening for months. It, it, yeah. requi- <laughs> it requires a certain level of complete like uh, disengagement. There's, yeah. I just imagine yeah. all the other stuff. He's like, "Did you hear about River Phoenix?" And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes." Mm-hmm. He's oh gonna be God. catching yeah. up. Yeah, for like he a goes, rubber band. He's like, "Jared, 
JFK. <laughs> guys. He's been elected president. <laughs> we have a Catholic president, like, guys. Uh, have you heard of this Watergate mm-hmm. thing? Yeah. It's nuts. I mean, I, I, get, I get that things have escalated quite quickly mm-hmm. in, in the last 12 days. When he came out of hibernation or whatever. But still, like, and you would have to think that at least, I mean, I know these people are on a, on a meditation retreat. But you have to think that there's somebody running this that would still be like, okay, for safety reasons, I need to have contact with the outside world. And they would know all this and they might think, I should warn the people here about what's happening. They might have loved ones, It'll family. disrupt their chi. Their, well, yeah, their their Jared fired that guy. And he <laughs> also had them remove all fire extinguishers from the building. Well, that's <laughs> he was yelling with them. He's like, no distractions. Mm. Could you imagine what would happen if someone knocked one of those fire extinguishers over? It'd cause a ruckus. <laughs> Jared, I don't know if this is a good idea. Yeah. No distractions. He was like, I was in the middle of a hardcore uh, chi ra, and I noticed a blue light. Up in the ceiling, and they're like, "That's the smoke detector. Rid it, get rid of them." I can't. I can't focus with <laughs> yeah. that blue light going. It's very annoying. Have you guys ever watched the thirty seconds? I know you have because we watched it together. But the thirty seconds to Mars documentary about no. them. Oh, it's it's fascinating. Is it almost a mockumentary? I kind of love all of Jared Cl- uh, Leto's clothes in it. I wish they were mine. Um, That's fair to say. But yeah, it's about like their battle Elijah with their ones. record label because they only make money touring. They make no money off of their actual like music sales. That's true for most musicians. Yeah, and but it's a fascinating. Um, I th- I thought it was no, yeah, it's funny, no. but it it's funny. <laughs> it is because it confirms that Jared Leto believes one hundred percent in Jared Leto. I think he has to. He is like that it's it's not like a performance art. No, thing. and it's not even like you know you know that sometimes there's those actors that are kind of like up in their head. Sometimes you listen to a Meryl Streep interview and you're like, are you like you seem to think that acting is the only thing that matters, oh, yeah. kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, but, uh, Jared Leto is just, he is completely immersed in himself. Is he, do you think he's, and he's not necessarily in the wrong in the documentary, but to watch him explain why someone else is wrong, right. you're like, I hope that record label, label takes them for everything they're worth. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we don't mean it, Jared. We don't mean it. I just, oh, I'm a huge fan. I heard a story he punched Elijah Wood in the back of the head because he said he didn't like his crappy music. What? This is what I heard. You don't attack From Elijah home. Wood. Darla, Elijah. Indie, oh, Darla, well, Elijah told punched you. Elijah Wood? That's what I heard. Maybe I got the story wrong. John's pissed. Yeah. I feel like, like, leave Elijah alone. He's probably, like, Elijah Wood's like, I, I DJ bagpipe music. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I loved Jared Leto in Panic Room. That's the only thing I know him from. That wasn't <laughs> the only thing. I remember he had dreadlocks him. in that movie. Yeah. yeah. I remember him from uh, My So Called Life. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. how I first knew him. And then uh, Requiem for a Dream, where I was like, man, that guy can really act. God, that guy's a douchebag. <laughs> I mean, he. I think he is a good actor. It's just, it's, it's, Sometimes it's frustrating. It's like, like when anytime you open your mouth and it isn't a line someone's written for you, you're like, ugh, <laughs> ugh, <laughs> shut like, up. Maybe don't have your own thoughts, <laughs> or keep them to yourself and write them in your journal for something your like that. I just, I like that it opens up with. It's not just, I've been gone for twelve days. It's I've been gone for twelve days. Here's the qualifier. Yeah, I was in. I was. Met. It's like it just reveals so much about someone. Where it's like, I must offer this information but up. Also, again, as we already pointed out, twelve days ago, this was still happening. Right. So where were you then? <laughs> but I'm saying okay. like could have could have said off the grid. You don't say I was with my friend Cher. You know, it's like oh, yeah. you just say you were out. Cher was with me. Right. Yeah. It's just like okay, the, the weird name. Well, he dropping. wants us to understand. I, I get it. Yes, he's centered. If I if, self-centered. If I did a so was somehow in isolation, came out of it to see all of this happening, I would be like, that's embarrassing. I wouldn't run to tell people how <laughs> stupid I am. Right. That's the thing. He is yeah. sprinting to show how out of touch he right. is with a global world event. Mm-hmm. But he sees that. And I love it. He sees those I love it. 300,000 <laughs> likes or whatever, and he goes, Jared's doing something right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he says, looking at a Time Magazine cover of uh, Morbius, says, will Morbius be the biggest film of the year? No. <laughs> oh, why do we haven't even thought about what this is going to do to Morbius release. Oh, my God. I don't know how many more weeks of mount up I can do. <laughs> 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 do you think Do you think Jared Leto said, he said, I will not allow this to affect the release of Morbius. This is war. And then he started playing the song <laughs> This is War from the album This is War. <laughs> is that music he makes? Yeah. I don't know. I know that's the one- That's the album he wrote to tell his record label that he hates them. He wrote them an album. James, was it in the, was it part of the soundtrack for Panic Room? No, it wasn't. I know you're not. Mm. Uh, Well, Jared, we hope that 
things are good for you. He's in this definitely gone. Time. He, he went back to the desert. He's <laughs> high on mushrooms. For the best. Having a good time. Um, there's still more podcasts to go, but before I get to, to our last little bit, I just want to tell everybody watching, uh, tune in this Friday, March 20th, for the premiere episode of No Idea IKEA. James and Adam's little show. It was a little show about building IKEA furniture that's coming to the channel. And we also have a, a Skyrim mod gameplay going up. That's a John little show. That's a John joint. John show. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. So there's, there's some fun stuff this weekend. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to close out the show by doing something a little bit bit light and fun, which was uh, I got some questions from people on Twitter. And uh, uh, I thought I could read them to you guys and you can can mm-hmm. kind of weigh in. First question from Jay Leto. <laughs> <laughs> some questions from what our, you our mean? viewers. <laughs> this first one comes from Leland who said, my dentist is trying to poison me, help. Uh, so I got my teeth cleaned today and usually they don't give me enough water to rinse with. So I brought my own and when the dentist told me to rinse, I took a sip from my water bottle and she said, we would actually prefer if you rinse, rinse with the water provided, please. And looked at me until I sipped from the plastic cl- cup provided. Did I do something wrong? Is dentist water different than regular people water? Is my dentist secretly poisoning me via the water? Help. That's what, what the sound? hell? I mean, it sounds like they can't, was the bottle sealed? Was there bottle water? Was it sealed? Because mm-hmm. they could theoretically want, they know what they're giving you is water. Mm-hmm. But they might think that what you're drinking is vodka or Soda. some any other clear or water juice. or something that, that could Life affect. Because you're if you've got a cleaning or a <laughs> oh, but Yeah, maybe they think it's water that was passed through an upper decker that you use mm-hmm. Life Straw. Yeah, 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 you could have Life Straw that. Or maybe you're trying to go extra white so you have a little bleach mixed in with your water. Yeah. Probably protecting themselves. It, yeah, it's probably like if in case you have a cut or something and then you drink something, you can try to sue them and go, the water you gave me was bad. And they're like, yep. so they, it's probably them just covering Every, themselves. I, or, and, oh, go ahead. Well, also, you're, spo- you're not supposed to eat for 30 minutes after. Maybe maybe it looked like a water bottle, but it was actually full of ground sausage. <laughs> sausage. I, I drink sausage water a lot. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that? It's yeah, like, I've seen it. Yeah, of course, it's water bottle, but it's like, how'd they get the sausage in there? The bottles, they grow it inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I would say because it was a medical office, mm. they're probably only supposed to use the shit that's verified and used in that office. And so, yeah, it is mind control serum, though. Yeah. I think your dentist is trying to yeah. poison you. Also, and they probably charge you. They've been you. slowly poisoning you yeah. over, t- over if, years. If <laughs> I, yeah, if I've learned anything from the documentary Equilibrium, uh, you need to hide the hide the brain control pills that they give you for some reason <laughs> instead of forcing down your throat uh, and just hide them behind the mirror. And, this, then and then your son goes, I've been doing it too, father. <laughs> and then it gives you two clips with giant balls on the end. <laughs> also, Leland, Have you seen Equilibrium? <laughs> yes. Stop staring at me. <laughs> Leland, just ask for more little tiny paper cups. Or maybe ask for a refill. You take one swig, go refill. And then if they say no, swig. reach for the bottle. Yeah. That has a gun inside it. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm always <laughs> reaching for the bottle. Thank you for your question, Leland. Uh, this next one comes from Alex Ramirez, our former intern and friend. Uh, he says, are you guys doing okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a big question. Yeah. It's a big question. We're in a weird place because, um, yeah, we're, the world's in a weird place and it puts us in a weird place, but our job is to create levity and create a sort of escapism. But it's kind of hard when... Who escapes the escapists? Yeah. Who's so. going to make us laugh? <laughs> well, it, it feels good to laugh, and I hope we're making other people laugh. But, like, yeah, I think I, I don't want to speak for everyone at the table. It's like I've definitely felt funky these past yeah, couple yeah, of days. Yeah, like you, you, you feel like there's just this cloud, like, kind of chasing you. And then it also was raining here, which it doesn't really rain in L.A. a lot. Um, so they were sort of like, oh, my feeling is being uh, personified, personified like in the Like in Men in Black 2. Never saw it. I saw one in three. I haven't seen it. Don't you, look at me. Uh, you, have you seen Men in Black 2? I always too? cry when it rains. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it rains cross you to cry, baby girl, or whatever he says. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> um, How are you guys doing? Well, I think, you know, everyone's being affected by it. But we are in a very unique and lucky situation in that our work can continue mm-hmm. even though we're – Mostly yeah. doing work from home and things like that. Yeah. A lot of people, I have a lot of friends working production, doing production design, directing stuff like that. All of their shoots have been canceled for the next, like, you know, indefinitely. So they're all out of work. They're all out of money. A lot of people are struggling. Yeah, you're not. We're not healthcare workers that are working really scary mm-hmm. jobs right now and and overburdened and. Yeah, we we are fortunate that um, this. I think this is one of those times where. 
being owned by a corporate conglomerate is sort of helpful when you get an email from like, you know, Warner, Warner Media and they're like, this is serious. Stay home. You're like, oh, cool. Okay. At least, you know, your company's got your back. Yeah. And so, and you know, there's, there's health insurance and there's sort of precautions for these sorts of things. There's, but, there's still a, a mental aspect of it though. Well, it's like tough. walking around here has been weird. Like our office is empty right now. Mm-hmm. We, we're still coming in. So like, we, just so everyone knows, our entire post team is working from home. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we come in here and record stuff and then go home. Um, but we've only been doing this for one day. Mm-hmm. Bones is working from home. But yeah, that, that's weird for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it just basically uh, a handful of us are like, okay, well, we've accepted that we are we are a cluster. I think the terms yeah. are clusters, right? Yeah. So we're a cluster. So we can't really open that up to anyone else. Mm-hmm. And, and so... We might as well come in here and do this. Yeah, yeah. this um, is this has been our. This is going to be our home for this, this for part of our isolation. Yeah, I I don't know. It's the same as everyone said. It's tough when it's like be funny when there's very serious things happening. I truly appreciate the opportunity to provide entertainment and stuff because, like you said, there are people dealing with it a lot harder than we are. This stuff like this though. It's I start I I never think short term. I always think, well, what are the repercussions yeah. of this? And I don't think we're going to know. Like, even if this gets resolved, like, when it gets resolved, like, six months from now, I don't know what it's going to do to us here. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's going to do to uh, the company we work for or the company that that company works for mm-hmm. or any of those things. These are, like, all big question mark repercussions in an, in a world that is already full of so many uncertainties. Yeah. No one has those emergency funds. Like, no one can save up those t- types of things. And so who, who knows what things are going to be like. Well, I... Um, I, f- I feel like it's becoming like a when I, like one time at band camp thing. But when I when I uh, <laughs> was in Uganda, um, there's this restaurant that everyone in the office would go to every day. And then it was like winter break or something. We didn't come in for two weeks. And then when we came back, the restaurant had shut down because they didn't have any savings. And they're basically functioning off of us. Um, and I'm not sure about a lot of businesses, but I think there are a lot of businesses that you know, you know, whether they're mom and pop shops or whatever Mm -hmm. that are not, or we're not prepared to just take a huge hit for however long this is going to last. So Mm -hmm. there's probably going to be really bad, you know, economic repercussions. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know like all the gyms are shut down except you pay them monthly anyway. So they're fine. (laughs) Oh, well, no, uh, I got an email. I got an email that Gym memberships are, they're just adding it to the end of your. Oh, so like they are thing. like, yeah, because yeah. I know Jess was going to call LA me. Fitness at least has been like, we're, what, however long this takes, we're just going to add that to everyone. Oh, that's good to the know. end of everyone's contract. Okay. I thought they were only letting one person into the gym at a time. Yeah, it's a lottery. <laughs> it's like Willy Wonka's chocolate <laughs> factory. <laughs> it, it, it's just, there's just weird real world things. So like, I had to go home and drop something off the other day. So it's like, my the only places I've been in are this office and home. Yeah. And like, Jess is at home quarantine and like that's just what they're there's is uh you know her work's asking her to do the self quarantine thing while they you know figure these things out um and it was like I was oh I'll stop by um smart and final real quick go to the grocery store just grab some stuff and there's a line of people out the door with grocery carts and it's like god it's such a weird like dystopian image to see and like that does something to you mm-hmm. and like it, it sets a weird tone in your head where you're like this is different this is weird and like just going to a store and seeing how people are acting and like watching people like full like walk sprint around is just like puts you in a weird mode. Well, it feels like oh. escape from New York because the roads are empty, but then there's a thousand people in a line outside of a grocery store. Right. And you're mm. like, no one needs to go anywhere except to get food. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think we're, we're better than a lot of people. Alex. Oh yeah. We, yeah. I mean, shouldn't really complain, but thanks. Thanks for the concern. We hope you're, you're doing well too. Um, a lighter question. This one is from David. What are you guys going to name your islands on Friday? Animal Crossing. Fuck. Oh. I haven't even thought of it. Like, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. the worst at that. Like, I, know. I can never. Ugh, I know, and I re- it needs to be good because mm-hmm. you're going to be invested. I got a pretty good this. one. What is it? Fire Island. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's spelled like Firefest. Oh, damn. I don't, I'm, I'm going to be playing Doom mostly, I think. I'm on the Doom train right now. Yeah. I'm a- Final Fantasy VIII. Good reference, me. <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, no. I mean, still haven't played the Final Fantasy demo. Like, I'm. Mm-hmm. If anything, if we have time at home, I might have time to play stuff now, which mm-hmm. is, I guess, kind of looking forward. To we that. were here. We were here until 
Six thirty. I think it left at like six forty last night. So yeah. it's not cutting down our on our hours by any yeah. means. But no. yeah, that that's. I think there was. We we're like, okay, well, we can maybe knock a lot of stuff out and then go home and then do notes on video and like just here all day shooting. Yeah, just all day. Um, shot but, shot some funny stuff though. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the we we did a new we did a video a single cam game that you'd been wanting us to play for a while and like yeah. it was the three of us that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. played a lot of fun. Uh, did a lot of bo- two boards as board as hells yesterday. Had mm-hmm. a lot of fun doing those. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you forget that you're supposed to be sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is easier to escape it I think just, here than just staring at your window or whatever. Yeah, staying safe is important. Island though, yeah. Yeah. mental health is important. I don't know. I'll probably translate some sort of word like a pretentious asshole. I'll okay. find I'll like like uh, um, a someone word or something. And I'll oh, tr- get like, Betty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's that a translation of? What are you naming Gabe your Harris? <laughs> <laughs> what are you naming your island, Elise? I honestly James like, after her favorite yeah, thing. I hadn't even like thought of it. And then this quest I read this question from David and I was like, oh no. Because it's so important. It's gonna be like You can never you can never change it once you change it. I don't know. Can I only play I don't think you can. Oh, that's a lot. What about well, Willem actually, Stodd? You probably can. I should oh, you name could. it Willem Stodd. Yeah. Willem Stodd. <sighs> Port Willems. Uh that's one final question. Cut it off. This is not, mm. not sorry to, to ruin it, but this is from William McKinnon. Would you rather have a ham hand or an armpit that dispenses sun cream? Both replenish uh, sunscreen. I think uh, both replenish, but not only enough to use yourself or your family. What ham so, hand? So what's not, a ham hand? Uh, your hand a is hand made out of ham that you can you eat. eat. Stupid. But it, but, <laughs> it re, but, it, but it regrows. Um, yeah, it replenishes. Or an armpit that dispenses sunscreen. Sunscreen. I'm going to sunscreen. Yeah, yeah, I don't eat that much ham. I never go outside, but also I, I'm not a big fan of ham, so I'm kind yeah, of fucked. Yeah, and like, it's like, do you just have a giant hunk of, is it a ham? Yeah, like, I, I want to, yeah. so so wanna... sunscreen is, it's hidden away, and imagine uh-huh. if you yeah. just go like that, yeah. uh-huh. and then you got your stuff that mm-hmm. you need. I don't need what to What about if it? you sneeze, it'll squirt out or something from Maybe the Maybe a little bit, That's but okay. stuff squirts out anyway. Half the people I know have so many sweat stains anyway, like, you get a little, it's like. Me? Did you say, do I have sweat stains? I said half. Is that why you? No, I, I think half yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a white shirt, but like I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm in, I'm I think I, I would go for the sunscreen. Yeah, as yeah, beach well. time. Con- so controversial answer from our side of the table, but yeah, if I'd you go could for get the spray, hand. that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Do you think? Are you worried though? Because like it. you know how people like bite their nails or whatever. Like I have the thing where I'm chewing and chewing and stuff. Like. Dogs would be chasing you. I was saying, if you have ham hands, <laughs> I'd win over every canine. You'd be, and cat. you'd be watching Netflix or something, and you look down, your index finger is gone. Yeah, you, you'd without thinking, mm-hmm. you just ate your index finger. I don't know. You're, I don't want that. And there'd be dogs. ham stains uh. everywhere. Mm-hmm. My couch would be filthy. Mm-hmm. Delicious. My apartment would. Would reek. it be? Hold on. Would What's your different? couch be any more covered in ham scent than it already is? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> well, I think that's it for the, for this oh. week. But thank you guys so much for at home for watching. We hope that you're all staying safe. And uh, do you want to mention anything about Friday? Keep your spirits up yet? Never mind. Um, do I mention Funhouse TV coming back? Oh yeah. We kind of we already kind of talked about it oh, a little bit. Fun, uh, if you if you get a chance, check out uh, the. Second channel we made is just called Funhouse Clips. On if you YouTube. Wanna, yeah, on YouTube. If you want to see uh, the Funhouse TV stream, it's there 24-7. I'm keeping an eye on it. But we so promise far. it's way better than his enthusiasm would lead us to believe. Man, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it was a lot of work, and obviously a lot of people worked on it and stuff, but we finally got it going, so I'm glad um, it's going well. Uh, it's, well. I'm trying to get some – we have to get it uh, partnered, and mm-hmm. so we have to get – was it 4,000 watched hours in? Yeah. How is that not – I Already, I, I don't know. Does it if, count for live streams? So it might be all po- all points would indicate no. Okay, <laughs> so I'm up. I'm trying to upload a clip or two a day mm-hmm. of our back catalog and just being like, please keep watching because mm-hmm. I got to get up. We're up to yeah. like 300 hours or something. So I think you'll hit that pretty fast. I I mean, I only I didn't get that many views. Like, what was it last year? I made that Link's Awakening video. Mm-hmm. Same and video. I was like, "How long is it going to take?" And literally, like the next day, it was like, "You qualified." Oh, so that's great. yeah, we're, we're can well, we just post that video then? Yeah, yeah, you can give post me your video. Make, can you, <laughs> hey, I need to make some videos. For <laughs> but I will hit it pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. So check out the Funhouse Clips YouTube channel, and uh, we'll try to pop in there in the chat too, and and hang out and talk. And yeah, stay safe, stay, stay safe, everyone, and take care. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Yeah. laughs> All I'll right, see you later. Bye. Yeah. Calm and cautious. Mm -hmm. Calm and cautious. Yeah. They aren't mutually exclusive. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.